Today I'll be showing you how to use this private DNS quick toggle app. It is much more stable than the other apps that I've used when it comes to toggling your DNS server on or off. So yeah, for me, I would recommend getting this one. Okay, so what you need to do is just head over to the Play Store. I'll leave a link in the description anyways. But just head over to the Play Store and then install the app. And after you're done installing the app, tap open. So it's going to show you this, but uh, what you need to do is tap more info. So it's going to open your browser and you should see all of this. I would recommend opening the page on your computer because for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this using your computer. So I have the page opened on my computer, so I don't have to view it from here. Okay, so what I want to do next is head over to my phone settings to enable developer options. Enabling developer options depends on the kind of phone you use. So you can just head over to YouTube. I believe you're on YouTube now. Just search for your phone. Maybe if you're using the Samsung Galaxy S24, you can type something like Samsung Galaxy S24 developer options and you should find a video showing you how to enable it. So I'm using the Redmi Note 13. So I'll tap my device after heading to settings. Then I'll come down here to OS version. I'll keep tapping it until it says you're now a developer. After that, I'll go back and then scroll down to additional settings. And this is it over here. So after you have enabled developer options, you open it and then you scroll down till you find USB debugging. So tap on it to activate it. My phone does a countdown, so I have to wait for it to get done. Okay, so after enabling it, I'll tap OK. Now, if you are using a Redmi or Xiaomi phone or a Poco phone, you also have to enable this one. USB debugging security settings. So if you tap on it, it's going to ask you to keep tapping next. So just keep tapping next until it says allowed or something like that. Just make sure that this one has been enabled as well. But if you are not using a Redmi or a Xiaomi phone, then you don't need to enable this one. Just enabling USB debugging mode is enough. Okay, so head back to the computer now. And on this website, you need to download any of these files. So if you're using a Windows computer, you download this one. If you're using a Mac, you download this. If you're using a Linux, you download this one by just clicking. So if you click on it, it's going to ask you to download. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to. When you download it, you just need to right click on it and then extract. After extracting, this folder will be created. So you open the folder and you can stop here. So what you want to do next is connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. I'm using a Type-C cable. So after connecting your phone to the computer, you want to head over to this folder. You click on the address bar up here and then you type CMD and press enter. So this is going to show up. Head back to the website and then copy this code. Then you paste it here and press enter. So your phone should show a pop-up. All you need to do is just tap OK. And uh, you can see it says daemon started successfully. And yeah, I think that's all for the computer. So you can disconnect your phone if you want. Now, if I head back to the app, this is the private DNS app. You can see now that it is now active. Here you can enter the DNS server you wish to use. For this video, I'll be using AdGuard. And after that, you can tap Save. So what you want to do next is tap on this, and then you tap Add Tile. And then you tap Add Tile again. And if you head over to your quick settings, you should see a new option here. So you can edit it and, and bring it up. So this is the icon up here. So whenever I want to toggle my DNS server on or off, I just need to tap this. You can see it says Private DNS is on. So I would recommend you disable this because if you enable this, it's going to look for a publicly available DNS server. You don't want that. You only want it to either toggle off or toggle to your private DNS server. So yeah, now it only does that. All right, so that's how you use the app. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.